The other classes suck. Just write a normal class, you peasant. Well, if you think that way, let me explain to you why do you need data classes in Python. But first, shout out to the person who suggested it. Data class module was first introduced in Python 3.7. It is a built-in way to reduce boilerplate when writing classes that are mainly used to store structured data. Normally when you create a class, you would need to write the dunder init constructor, the string representation method, the dunder eq method for comparison in logic, etc. But with data classes, Python generates all of that automatically. At its core, data classes is just a decorator. And behind the scenes, Python generates all the needed methods for us. To be honest, nothing makes me more satisfied when it's not that hard. That's what she said. <laughs> you can also configure data classes with parameters like frozen, slots, and order. More on them later. But why all of this and what to do with it? You can use data classes when you need lightweight data containers, immutable objects when you set frozen is equal to true in the parameter, sorting or comparison when setting order is equal to true. All right, blah, 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 blah. But what does this mean in the real world scenario? Data classes are really handy for config management. For example, when you're going to define structured configuration for your app, data transfer objects or DDOs for short, when sending or receiving structured objects, database models and API responses, like temporary containers for parsed data, and machine learning pipelines to store hyperparameters neatly. But most importantly, data classes are quite efficient and they're not heavy on memory. When you set slot is equal to true in the parameter, it actually saves memory when you need to create thousands of objects, it speeds up attribute accessing, and it prevents adding more attributes dynamically. I hope you learned something new about data classes in Python. That's basically it. Until next time. Hey!